Hey guys, this is Izzy Nober, and I'm here to show you a little bit of Orion's Legend of the Wizards. It's a relatively new game that hasn't been getting a lot of attention lately, so I thought I'd show you a little bit of what it's all about. Uh, the game is a little like Puzzle Quest, but instead of Bejeweled, you fight using a card game system. It's really unique, really interesting, really compelling. I'll show you a little bit of the campaign mode. There you go, there's my save game right there. I'm gonna load it. I'm going to show you a little bit of the campaign mode. <clears throat> Wait for it to load there. And there we go. Turn it down a little bit here. I have it plugged into my speakers. Okay. So in, uh, in campaign mode, you travel from city to city. Your guys in this balloon here you see you travel from city to city all the cities you see with the green flag they're already mine so I can just travel through them freely you travel from city to city and you battle the uh, the local rulers of that city and if you win you get that town and then you get to build stuff in it and when you build these things you can access better cards for your your deck right so let's enter one of these cities this one right here down it's still a little too loud okay so there's my city and you see these crystals here you see green and blue and a couple of red over there and these are the 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 structures that give you uh, resources and then you use these resources to uh, to build uh, new buildings or to buy new cards right so let's try to build something here I have this ancient temple so let's build it right here so when I build this ancient temple, let's go back there, it says here, priests serve this temple of the ancient civilization. So that means that once I build that, I can access the priest card. So let's buy some cards over here. So you have the magic, I'm not sure if you'll be able to read it, I'm not sure if it's focusing right, but there's a, a magic healer, there's the card bless, there's the priest. Now I can't buy any cards right now because I'm already at the maximum amount of cards that my deck can carry. So that's just to give you a... a, a to show you a little bit of how you build stuff and how you you buy new cards for your deck right so go back here so you can travel uh, from city to city and every city of course has different buildings in it and uh, it grants you with different cards so ideally you want to get one city of each uh, path it's called you know magic paths they have you know fire earth uh, life death the usual right so if you ever played any you know fantasy based game you, you already know these so uh, so this is basically what the uh, the campaign mode is. You travel around cities, you build different buildings, you buy new cards for your deck, and then you fight the opponent, right? So uh, the campaign mode is a little lengthy to show in a review. So I'm gonna show you the dual mode, and then you get to see what the what the fighting is like in the game. So let's go back to the uh, the main menu there. Okay, all right. So this is the beauty of this game. You can play campaign, or you can play in just a duel. And a duel, you don't have to 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 mess around with all the the economic aspect of the game. You know, building stuff and acquiring resources and buying new cards. You don't have to do any of that. On duel, all you do is the the game provides you with a random generated deck, and then all you have to do is fight the opponent with again another random generated deck. So no two battles are going to be the same. So you pick any of these guys here, select CPU, and then let's hit start. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what the how the gameplay is like. Okay, so uh, that's the main playing area. These icons on the top here, these are the paths, right? So you have here water, fire, uh, air, earth, life, and death. The number on the top here, you see 50. I'm not sure if the the camera is focusing right. Let's just give it a second here. Okay, so the 50 there, that's my life, the amount of life points I have. So if uh, those are reduced to zero, that's game over for me, right? So these little numbers that you see on the elements, those are the, uh, I'll, I'll, the, the game is not specific about what those units are called, but we just refer to it as mana. So that's uh, the, the energy, let's say, that, uh, that's, uh, that's the currency that you use to play the spells. Like, for instance, I have five points on uh, water there I'm not sure if you can see it so that means that I can cast anything that costs five or less so you see sea justice costs three Nixie costs four ice bolt costs seven and that's why it's grayed out that means I can't use it I can't cast it right see it doesn't it doesn't happen so but I can cast a Nixie so I can I click drag it to the playing field and I drop it there so I can only cast one spell or creature a turn so I'll skip and then the, the computer makes its play cast a satyr 
So now it's my turn again, and you see that little cast icon on uh, the Nixie. That means that it says it has an activated ability. And in her case, her ability is that she produces one extra uh, water point or mana. So let's just click there, and you see that my mana goes from three to four, and my fire goes from six to five, which she uses one one point of fire to make one extra point of water. So I'm gonna now I can cast. Say I have six points in. Earth, I can cast a Centaur, which is a pretty good unit, because he can attack on the same turn that he has been called into battle. So if I hit skip, they both attack. And then you see that they have a, they have two numbers there. For instance, the Nixie has a 4 and a 3. The 4 is its health points, so if those are reduced to 0, the Nixie is dead. And the 3 is its attack points, so any, every time it attacks, that's the amount of damage it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause to the opposing creature, right? So I can cast, let's say I have 6 points in water, 7 in life, I can cast a, I'm gonna cast a Magic Healer. Now the Magic Healer, it has uh, an interesting ability. Every time it loses health, every time I lose health, the player, the magic healer loses the same amount of health and I don't lose anything. Sorry, I, I got that wrong. Uh, it'll lose, the magic healer will lose the same amount of uh, life points I would lose, but he'll heal me and he'll take that damage. So say, if I get 12, you know, if, if the, the, the computer hits me for 12, the magic healer is gonna heal me for 12, but then he's gonna take those 12 damages and 12 points of damage and then he will die. So basically that's what happens. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna skip here. And that's the computer's turn. So we cast a Pegasus. And he attacked me. And uh, that's basically what the gameplay is like. Obviously, there's a lot more subtleties, there's a lot more uh, uh, nuances to it. But this is, ba this is basically how it plays out. What I wanted you to see here is that uh, there's a lot of polish in the game. Like you see the, the effects and this, you know, the, the particle effects and the the sound effects when I you know cast a, a different card or and I use an ability it's very well produced there's a lot of uh, there's a lot to see in the game I guess that's what I'm trying to tell you and it's definitely worth the two bucks so uh, go get it